Got a shot of warm Akim, it's a high spirit wind in Judah of the GMS Mississippi camp. Giving honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Simeon Hawashai, by Simeon Kaifudash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, Ruel, well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. All right, today we're pretty much living at the end. We are at the end. The prophecy is speaking. All right, the prophecy is speaking. And one thing I wanted to touch on was, you know, I, I, I don't think it's any coincidence that I think it was last year. That Apostle Hart said, you know, no more, no more new members of Great Millstone. All right, no more new members of Great Millstone. Around that same time, you know, they pretty much was in a situation to where they had to stop teaching in the main spot. And, you know, in the spirit, that was like the ark is closing, man. All right, the ark is closing. Okay. Also, we see that we are at the beginning of major prophecies. All right. We are at the beginning, it's, it's taking off very fast. It seems that at the turn of the, the decade, 2020, all right, things just started to take, to take flight, and there was a different spirit in the earth, all right? Starting with Trump, Trump's attack on the general of Iran, all right? Um, to allegedly Kobe dying to now this, the coronavirus and the reaction, all right? And long story short, Jacob is heading into hard hard times. But we had a, a, a window of repentance. It tells you in 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, that when, a, in so many words, when a door of repentance was opened unto them, they basically despised it. And there was a door of repentance going back to 2007 and ultimately back to 1969, man. Because this truth first came out on the highways at around 1969. See, we've always had knowledge of who we were as a people. Going back to slavery, you've had Israelites that, that taught who we were, okay? Uh, there are even, you know, um, or Israelites who knew who we, who we were, man. And, you know, even going back to, say, World War One, World War Two, you know, a lot of the, some of these temples that you see in your local community, they came from Jake's that their great great granddad was in world war one or two and they went to egypt and they saw the truth all right i've heard this story from people personally all right but the, this truth was first taught on the highways and the byways in, in 1969 all right by abba bivis all right and going down to apostle Tahar, all right and starting around two, 2007 that was a mainstream door of repentance that was open to you, man. All right. So going back to Thessalonians, they've been despising, despising not man, but the Most High. The Most High sent messengers. All right. And the reason why every major city you saw on the planet Earth, basically, mainly the U.S., there were young men prophesizing the downfall of this country they were in, mainly America. And telling the people who they were because that wasn't them speaking, that was the 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 mouth of the most high. Alright, that's why it says and I think it's Proverbs 84, unto you I call in my voices to the sons of men. Alright, because the most high spake through us. But that's that's sad to say this that there was a door of repentance. There was the ark still open. Alright. But now, alright. But now the ark is, is swiftly uh, closing. The door of the ark is swiftly closing. And the reason I'm saying an ark, all right, because this truth is like uh, going back to Psalms 91, man. It's that the secret place of the Most High is fixed. We're dwelling under the shadow of the Most High, all right. And it's like that. It's like the, uh, going back to uh, Noah's ark, all right. The ark was like a hedge back then from that great flood that was going to flood the planet Earth, okay. Well, only eight people made it in their ark. But now, this ark was, is, is broader. It's for the body of Yahweh Shai. It's for a greater number of people. But just like the, the days of Noah, all right, they despised the prophet. They despised the vision, okay? They despised what was said. They thought it was unbelievable. So, really going back to 1969, but, you know, on a mainstream sense, going back to 2007, all right, you despised the, 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 the words of the Most High. When you walk past the prophets, when you call the police on the prophets, when you laugh at the prophets, all right? When you say, oh, okay, 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 that's what's up. And y'all gonna be out here next week? All right, all right. And then next week, y'all weren't out there, okay? 
now the ark is closing. All right, you're not gonna dwell in the in, under the wings of the Most High. All right, you're not going to be protected, man. All right. So this is the time of your trouble. All right, because you've had that door of repentance and you didn't, and you abused it because you received liberty. You you received the benefits in your liberty. All right, you received the benefits of being in Egypt. The benefits of going shopping on the weekend with your boo. The benefits of having so-called financial security. Now all of that is going to be gone. All of that is going to be gone, man. So the door, the ark is closing. Okay. And another thing I want to say, you know, to the Akim who are dwelling un under the shadow of the Most High, I know these are exciting times. I know these are times of I told you so. But when you move amongst the people in your physical environment, all right, you know, still move discreetly. The scripture says what? To be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. But one thing that a serpent does, it moves discreetly, okay? It, a lot of times people don't see a snake because what? It blends in with its environment. There's a saying, if you was a snake, you would have bit me. If there had been a snake, it would have bit me. Because you can't see a snake. It blends in with the environment. So you hear Jake talking about what's going on. Don't interject and be like, well, actually, what's really going on is this. Well, really, there is no corona. Nah, let them believe what they believe because they've had their door of repentance. And if they are the elect, if they are... um. You know, spared by the Most High. That's uh, at this point, it's up to the Most High. All right, directly. So, hey man, we've we've done our job, man. All right, so you know, just I'm gonna say this. You know, in court, you know, the, the judge they reach the verdict and they give a sentence. And after the sentence, all right, the person is in prison. All right, the punishment after the sentence is the judgment. All right, and when you were in school, you said write down a sentence. All right. So the Most High gave a sentence to Esau and the two thirds, all right, and he gave a sentence through the mouth of the prophets. Now the sentence has been declared. Now prepare for judgment. And with that, I'm gonna say shalom.